Hey, welcome to Wine Jam News in three minutes. Like and share when you guys get a chance. First up in the USA, NBA uh, Golden State Warriors have won the NBA title and they decided to congratulate themselves by spending £180,000 on 150 bottles of golden champagne. Yes, that sounds great, except most of it was all over the floor. As far as the pictures can show, anyways. Um, in further news, um, the French police have been believed to know that they had stopped a sabotage attack by the Crave, which is a militant winemaker group. Um, they were going to target Bordeaux, their wine merchants, and maybe even Vinexpo. Um, they've been known to be unhappy with basically Spanish wine imports coming in and uh, being undercutting some of the French wines that they have. Um, further news, uh, Vindios Singularis, I hope I'm saying that right because it's so brand new, is a new label for single vineyards uh, in the Rioja region, which is um, to basically show that you can do single vineyards. And it also means that you have to have 20% less yields and they have to be hand harvested as well. Even though this sounds like a big thing now, most winemakers are saying, uh, we're not that fast, so we need more actually to be done. Uh, in other news, wine preservation. It seems to be a big thing for some reason. First up, there was the wine save, which was a gas that goes into a bottle. Uh, then there was Corovin, which is allowing uh, you to basically pour wine out of a bottle without opening it. And third is Eto, which is a new wine preservation, which doesn't use any gas, um, but it was so new that it, just the other day it got a Kickstarter um, to raise the money. Within 32 hours, it's got all of the money that it needs to do this project now. So guys, check it out, see what you think of it. Um, in other news, wine merchants get it pretty tough in you know the whole world of, of supermarkets and everything else against them. But this particular one supermarket got a unusual customer, which was a peacock. Yes, a peacock came into the wine merchants and destroyed 500 pounds worth of wine. But at least the peacock's fine, I guess. <laughs> in final news, 66% of young people have been found in a survey not to know what a sommelier is. Really, millennials? Come on! Really, do me some justice. I was a sommelier, so uh, as respectful, I can tell you that it, what it means is that the person in the restaurant that deals with the wine list and the wines, or it's somebody who gives advice about the wines to the consumer. And my advice is you should watch our show because we've got the wine list episode that you should check out. Guys, this is Some Cash signing out and Wine Jam will be back next week.